Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, pag-uusapan natin ngayon on how to solve linear equation in one variable. And our target here is to find the value of x given these equations. The first given example here is x plus 5 is equal to 12. As you can see, in this problem, we need to find exactly what is the value of x that would satisfy the given equation. And for us to find it out, let's solve this problem. So, for the entire video, we will use shortcuts para mas madali nyo malaman ano nga ba yung value ng x. Now, for this given equation, we need to isolate the variable x, meaning we need to eliminate this plus 5 here. So, we will transpose this 5 to the other side of the equation, and our new equation will be x is equal to 12, and then always remember, whenever you are transposing a term to the other side of the equation, we need to change its sign. From positive 5, it will become negative 5. And as you can see, we have now x is equal to 12 minus 5, and that would be equal to 7. This is now the value of x in the given equation. Now, let's move on to item number 2. For number 2, we are given 5x minus 7 is equal to 18. Now, how are we going to solve this problem? First, we need to eliminate negative 7 on the left side of the equation. That means we need to transpose this negative 7 to the other side of the equation. We have 5x is equal to 18, and then from negative 7, it will become plus 7. That is a shortcut. But your teacher might teach you or ask you to use properties of equality. You need to follow that. But in this case, we will use shortcuts. So we have here 5x is equal to 18 plus 7. That would be 25. And next, we have 5x plus 25. Now, for us to get the value of x, we need to divide the whole equation by 5. And in this case, we can cancel out 5 and 5. And as you can see, we have now the x, 25 divided by 5, that is equal to 5. Meaning, the value of x in this equation is simply 5. Now, there's a thing na tinatawag natin checking if you want to check whether the answer is correct. Sir, how does it work? First thing you need to do if you want to do the checking, we will try it with the second equation. Huh? Copy first the given, which is 5x minus 7 is equal to 18. Now you can substitute this value of x, which is 5, to the new equation, or to the original equation, we have 5 times 5 minus 7 is equal to 18. And what is 5 times 5? The answer is 25. Then minus 7, and this is 18. As you can see, on the left side of the equation, if we will subtract 25 and 7, that is 18, is equal to 18. Since both sides of the equation are equal, meaning our answer is correct. Okay? So I hope you learned something from the first and second example. Now let's move on with the third example. We have x, we have 8x plus 6 is equal to 2x plus 30. Now, here's the thing. As you can see, we have the variable x on both sides of the equation. We need to rearrange the equation in which one side must have the variable x and on the other side, it has the constants. So here, we will retain the placement of 8x. This would be 8x. And then we will transpose 2x to the other side of the equation or on the left side of the equation. So it will be here, which means it will become negative 2x. Now, what about the 6 and 30? We will try to put all the constants to the other side of the equation. So meaning we will put here the equal sign and we will re retain the placement of 30. That is 30. And then we will transpose 6 to the other side of the equation, which is 
30 minus 6. And as you can see, we have here 6x. And we have equal to 24. Same scenario. We need to divide both sides of the equation by 6. By 6. Cancel 6. Cancel 6. We have x is equal to 4. And that is the value of x in example number 3. As easy as that. So if you want to clarify some of the other steps that we had, you can uh, pause the video for a while and then pwede mong balikan yung mismo part na nahirapan ka. Now let's move on with item number 4. For item number 4, we will try to use other operation or other steps here. We are given 3 times x minus 4 is equal to 2x plus 5. Now, as you can see, we have the parentheses here on this part, meaning we need to perform it first before transposition. So, we will multiply first 3 and x. That would give you 3x. Then, we have 3 times negative 4. That would be minus 12. Then equal to 2x plus 5. Now, similar with item number 3, as you can see, we have the excess on both sides of the equation. Meaning, we need to manipulate or we need to place all the variable x on the left side of the equation. It will be transposed here. It will become 3x minus 2x. And then this negative 12 must be transposed to the other side of the equation. We will transpose it here. So it, it will become equal to 5. And then from negative 12, it will become plus 12. Now we have now 3x minus 2x, that will be x. And then 5 plus 12, that is equal to 17. And this is the value of x in the given equation. So that is number 4. As you can see, guys, look at the end. Look at the difficulty of each equation given in this given video. Mapansin nyo, pahirap siya ng pahirap. And I hope na yung techniques natin and you will counter this kind of equation. Sana ma-apply nyo yung natuturo ko sa inyo. Now let's move on with item number 5. For number 5, we are given this equation x over 3 plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 5 2x over 5 plus 1. So here, the problem here are the denominators. So, for you to solve that, we need to identify which is the LCD between 3 and 5. What is the answer? Okay, very good. The LCD is 15. Now, what is the purpose of this LCD? The purpose of this LCD is that we will multiply the whole equation by 15. So, it goes like this. x over 3 plus 5 is equal to 2x over 5 plus 1. And I told you earlier, we will multiply the whole equation by 15. So we will multiply it 1 by 1 inside. So this 15 times x over 3, it will become 15 times x over 3. Now, Let's multiply the other one. 15 times 15, that would be 225. And here, on the other side, we will multiply this by 15. That would be equal to 2x times 15 over 5. And lastly, 15 times 1, that is plus 15. Now, here on the first part, as you can see this one, we can divide 15 by 3, and the answer is 5. Then we have to multiply it by variable x, so it will become 5x plus 225 is equal to, this time, we can multiply, uh, we can divide 15 over 5, that would be equal to 3. 
And then, as you can see, we have originally 2x times 3. That would be 6x plus 15. Now, we would arrange so that all the x's are on one side of the equation and all the constants are on one side of the equation. But this time, we will put all the x's on the right side of the equation because 6x is greater than 5x. So we will have here 6x transpose 5x to the other side minus 5x. And we will retain 225 here. Then we will transpose this 15 to the other side of the equation. That would be minus 15. So what is 6x minus 5x? The answer is simply x. And what about 225 minus 15? The correct answer is what? 210. And as you can see from that equation, the value of x is simply 210. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, let me give you an item that you should answer. And please put it here in our comment section. So can you please solve 5x minus 1 is equal to 34. What is the value of x in this given problem? Guys, comment your answer. So guys, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!